Good morning, folks. Quick perspective on Colorado flooding. Got hundreds of square miles taking over 2,000% of their expected rainfall. That's incredible. Today's articles come shared via users of our private forum. Folks, this article is the type of thing everyone should have in the back of their minds. Many still don't know that we lost a few weather satellites to solar explosions back in the 90s. NASA claims our magnetic shield is fading. I want to reassert that I recognize the arguments on both sides about cosmic rays and climate, but the low-level penetrative cloud forcing is a lot harder notion with which to argue. This also makes sure to fortify the connection to the sun's magnetic field, which is shutting down now as well. Reminder that if you have not seen the background videos, they are paramount for perspective within the shared topics. Global State of the Climate Report is out only really mentioning the heat records and major storm events. Not that those don't exist or aren't important, but to show so many heat and energy driven events across the planet when literally half of it was well below average temperatures is interesting. Can't peg a precipitation trend other than extreme swings. The South China Sea currently hosts the end of a break in storm activity for the coastlines here. They've gotten a bit of a break to kick off the month. Meanwhile, Mexico is still flanked by the remnants of major storms. There's more developing as well in the Atlantic, with Umberto to the right there still heading north. Meanwhile, Florida, you have another harmful cyanobacteria bloom. Keep pets and children strictly away. If you'll remember, I mentioned a Hawaiian oil spill. Well, it was actually molasses. That's my mistake. And we're updating now to confirm their initial fears. Thousands of dead fish. Folks, this was the sun three days ago. Quite clearly, there's coronal hole streams on the way. And last night's density spike followed by rising speed, plasma temperature, and geomagnetic instability forced me to believe that that was the stream. It might not be though. The speed's taking its time to rise. The density is returning without instability. We should know more by tonight. Either way, the bigger story on the sun is that it has indeed woken back up with a set of sunspot development center disk and the big incomer. The development is morphing enough to be a wait and see region until it matures. The big incomer seems ready to fire something bigger, but so far demonstrating his patience. The coronal holes seem to have weakened again via ISWA, barely any signature for the earth-facing bit here. I'll leave you with Nemesis on the beat, and a mega sunspot beginning to clear its throat. Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.